Melena Rizek and I'm here at Riverside Church in Upper Manhattan for a memorial for Odetta, the civil rights icon and musical pioneer who inspired generations of artists. It's a free public event and people have come from all over the city and state. There are people who grew up on her music in the 50s and 60s in cafes in the village and there are her contemporaries like Harry Belafonte and Pete Seeger all here to celebrate a musical and social force. There are all sorts of people who heard her in person who just never forget this, the strength and power. She had an impact on the whole world. What kind of impact did she have on your own music? Trying to be, trying, trying my best to be more honest. Just you stand and listen with me. Then Odetta say, Ain't you never heard me, Odetta? Bless the child, take up the cross. Tell me, ain't you kidding, honey? Well, you don't know what you lost. You ought to hear that girl of Warbling Robins, Larks, and all them things. Catch their mouths and hide their faces when Melinda sing, when Odetta sing, when real singing gets sung. Well, she was one of the greatest singers in any kind of music that I ever loved. I saw one of her last performances, it may have been her last at Hardly Strictly Bluegrass in San Francisco, in front of, you know, 120, 130,000 people. And uh, she was in a wheelchair, and the wheelchair had to be, you know, carried up to the stage. But then she absolutely, you know, like, stopped everybody in their tracks, you know. And, and uh, I had to follow her. <laughs> so it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty intense. It was pretty amazing. And I think... It was a big voice, and, and I think, you know, I was glad to see her in front of a, I mean, you know, big audiences. That's what I associate with Odetta, the March on Washington. And when I listened to Odetta sing, Look over yonder, hot sun turning over. That shout, that cry, it released a mechanism in me because there was the place I belonged. Who did she inspire? Who will be the Odetta of now? Who will have her courage to stand up in the face of so much and relentlessly impose art and goodness? Well, your speech was really moving and stirring. Do you think there is someone that can fill Odetta's space? I really meant it more in the metaphor of it than in the reality of it. There are thousands and thousands of Odettas all over America, all sizes, all shapes, all creeds, all genders.